The diversity of armadillos is truly astonishing. There are silent ones and screaming ones, hairy species and fairy species, minute and monstrous. Some species give birth to one pup. Others give birth to identical quadruplets. And one species gives birth to 6 to 12 pups every litter, all of them identical twins. Armadillos are the only mammals that have a carapace or dorsal armor made of small bony plates. This structure is composed of shields and movable bands that protect them from the environment, especially from predators. In many species, the tail is also covered by a protective sheath. Today, over 20 species in nine genera are recognized. Of those, only the Brazilian and southern three-banded armadillo species can roll up in perfect balls. Most armadillos are omnivores and insectivores, eating mostly ants and termites. Some species will eat larger insects, and some will eat fruit, vegetation, fungi, and some even eat small vertebrates and carrion. Most armadillo species are semi-fossorial, and their niches are still being studied. Armadillos eat many underground grubs and insects that are harmful to agriculture. The giant armadillo, who has the largest claw of any living mammal, is an excellent excavator. At least 26 other vertebrae species have been observed using their burrows, including the rare short-eared dog. By being an ecosystem engineer, they provide shelter for other animals. Although their range is large, they are listed as threatened. If they go extinct, other animals will lose their safety burrows. By saving the giant armadillo, we would save many other species. The naked-tailed armadillos, naked, because it lacks the complete armor on its tail, digs in an unusual way. It will rotate its body as it digs, sometimes digging upside down. This makes the burrow entrances and tunnels circular. While some species are doing well, many are listed as data deficient because there is little information on the population status of the species and their biology and ecology are poorly known. This makes it difficult for conservationists to convince lawmakers that protecting their natural habitat or adding them to protected species plans is important. Although several species are formally known as data deficient or least concern, they too are affected by many threats, mostly due to human activity. Armadillos have played an important role in folk tales and are represented in songs and stories in many indigenous tribes. They have also been hunted and consumed as a source of protein for centuries. This means that there's been a relationship between armadillos and humans for many, many years. Luckily, there are many things we can do to save armadillos. One key solution is to keep them in your heart, but leave them in the wild. Xenarthrins should not be kept as pets. Support programs that save their natural habitat so they can have a forever home. Research and buy sustainably sourced products. This may encourage countries to keep their forests and not turn them into cattle ranches, plantations, or cities. Spay and neutering dogs and cats can help eliminate armadillos, unnatural predators. Another way to help protect the areas where armadillos live is by not starting fires. You can also support education initiatives in countries where armadillos live. Some cultures wrongly believe it is a bad omen if you see an armadillo. Due to this myth, armadillos are hunted and killed. Do not eat wild meat or support restaurants that serve it. By only eating farmed animals, we can help save wild population. Every year on August 13th, we celebrate International Armadillo Day. It's a great opportunity to share your knowledge with friends. Tell them about the threats they face, but more importantly, tell them the many solutions that we can do every day to help conserve armadillos. Armadillos are so important and we can be part of the solution. Want to be an ambassador for armadillos and their close relatives? Visit xenarthrins.org to learn more ways on how you can help.